ignore the fact that I look crazy. I have not posted a long form video for you guys in a long time and <laughs> there are so many things that I need to update you on. So I figured here we are, um, let's just get right into it. A lot has changed and has happened for me over the last couple months. Okay, <laughs> I'm looking at my channel right now. <laughs> the last video that I did was a life update. I have been slacking tough on these uh, YouTube videos, so I'm so sorry about that. But here's another life update for you. <laughs> a lot of people are asking me uh, where the dreads went and if they're coming back. And so um, expect there to be a video specifically talking about the dreadlocks soon by the end of this month by the end of november i'll have a video talking about the dreads i have been so busy working on um my addiction recovery coaching and the public speaking and learning a lot of that stuff it feels like i'm back in school there's so much to learn i've been helping my clients i've gotten um i've gotten clients which is awesome I, I have quite a few now, so they're keeping me busy. Um, they're teaching me a lot in terms of how to actually help somebody get sober and how to like apply what I've done for myself and use that for other people. So there's a lot of learning going on with that. Um, and then I'm still learning just like on my own like personal development journey. So um, I went to a Tony Robbins event. I went to a live UPW in Dallas this last weekend. And that was an amazing event. Like being there in person. If you guys have not been to a Tony Robbins event, you should go. <laughs> it was so crazy. There was 11,000 people in the room. Uh, 3,000 people who were virtual. So 14,000 people who were at like attending this event. And um, I had diamond seats, so I was very close to the front. Um, that saved us a ton of time with like waiting in lines and stuff. Um, and we got to see Tony. I met a lot of people who kind of work with Tony and that have helped me over the years. So it was a great weekend for networking and, and for learning. Um, and then I got sick. <laughs> so coming home... Immediately the day after I came home, I lost my voice completely. I'm still like, it's, it's definitely a lot better right now, but oh my gosh, it was really bad. Um, so I lost my voice. I went to the Instacare and I got like fluids. So I got an IV, I got fluids. I was just not, I was so dehydrated and I thought that it was because of the event, like at the Tony Robbins event, you're just like screaming and jumping and just going crazy for like I don't know 13 14 hours a day for four days straight and then you have to like talk about your day afterwards and kind of like break it down and so I wasn't getting a lot of sleep so I was thinking that I was sick because of that but definitely caught something so not to be all gross but um I then went into like a NyQuil hibernation for like three days. <laughs> so it's like, I didn't know what day it was. I didn't know what time it was. I didn't know what was going on. Um, but I, I pulled through and I survived that. And now I'm just kind of sitting in my feelings. Um, another major, major life change that has happened. And I have kind of been keeping this to myself for a, a, like a year now. Um, I didn't know if I wanted to go public with it, but I think that it will be good like in the future for me to look back on. And also I think it might help other people as I learn how to navigate this next chapter. Um, but my husband actually joined the, the, the military. So that's the thing. I needed to get some emotional support ice cream. <laughs> yeah, so he's in the military. Um, it's a new development. And so he's gone right now at training. 
and he will be gone for um, an undisclosed amount of time. Um, it's longer than I would like. So go, I'm dealing with that. <laughs> um, so with that being said, I have a plan to work more and to keep my mind focused on working and not the fact that I am just, you know, chilling all by my lonesome. Um, I do have a lot of plans to travel and stuff over the next coming months um, with the holidays. But you guys, it's it's been rough. <laughs> We're only like two weeks in. Oh my gosh. So I'm going to keep you updated on that. Um, or at least my emotional well-being in regards to him being in the military. Um, it's kind of scary. But also, like, I'm extremely proud of him. Um, I think that he is extremely brave. And that is not something that I'd be able to do. But... Here he is doing it and being awesome. So I'm just over here hanging out, chilling, helping people get sober. <laughs> um, I'm also planning on starting my book. Um, I've decided I, I talked to a ghostwriter or he's got a publishing company that has ghostwriters. I talked to him. Um, so there is potential to collaborate down the road, but I do want to write a majority of it myself. Um, and for the past few years, I've just been scared to get started. So I decided that is something that I can put my effort into when I'm here all by myself <laughs> while Denton's gone. Um, so I'm going to start writing my book. And so that's really exciting. Um, also at the event, uh, the Tony Robbins event, I was doing a little bit of networking. I met with this guy who, um, like, proposed this idea of potentially, it sounds crazy, and I don't want to jinx it, but it just got my mind, like, running of what's possible. But the potential of me learning Spanish, which is something I've wanted to do for years, but learning Spanish and then traveling down to um, Latin countries and um, speaking to young girls in these countries about sexual abuse and overcoming that. And I think that that would be an absolute like bucket list item for me to be able to go and help young girls in general, but then also be able to travel with it. And, and I don't know, I just think that that would be so impactful for me to be able to go and actually like help these communities and the girls and the women in these communities and share my story. Um, he runs a lot of different mission houses down in Guatemala. Um, so we are talking about that. He has full immersion opportunities for me to learn the language. And so, I don't know, there's a lot of really cool things on my horizon. And so I have totally, like, I haven't forgotten about YouTube videos, but it just has not been my first primary focus. And so now I decided, like, I do want to document a lot of this, of the journey. Um, if I can be completely transparent with you guys, I was feeling like a little, like, I don't know how much I should share about my personal life, considering I do have clients now that I'm helping. And it's weird because obviously I'm not a therapist. And so there's different, like, rules of professionalism that like a therapist would have but I'm not a therapist I'm just a normal person who helps people get sober and so I think that actually sharing my journey and my personal life would help people connect with me and so I decided that I'm going to share my real real life stuff um, and I'm going to start vlogging more I know I say that probably every couple months but I'm all alone now and I, I've got to have somebody to talk to <laughs> So that's going to be you. Um, also, shout out to this brand. So delicious. Dairy-free ice cream. Saving the day. Um, but anyways, that's the life update. That's what's going on. In the comments, let me know if any of it sounds interesting and like what parts you would want to be following along 
on so that way I can be sure to touch on them. Um, I'm also going to the gym more. I don't know if you can tell, but I've been working on my fitness. So I'm going to be showing that too. No, not at the gym, but probably me like after the gym all sweaty, showing the gains. <laughs> Just kidding. I don't know. We'll see. Okay. Bye. I really did. I forgot how much I love talking to you guys. You're the best. Love you. Okay, bye.